Good morning, everybody. Um, I, I see loads of comments about leggy plants. What do you do with leggy plants? Okay, these are my sunflowers, and you can see that they're coming on leaps and bounds already. But they have gone a bit long, and they have gone a bit leggy. So what do I do? Well, there is a simple solution. I normally choose quite a large pot. Okay, and normally that pot um, is is then able to make me sunflowers come on. So here you've got a couple here that I've done already. So I'll show you what I do then. You've got to be dead careful with leggy plants because if you don't you'll just snap them. So please be careful with them. And again I've just got my 4 to 1 mixture. That's the mixture I normally use. Um, I might try some vermiculite because I've heard loads of people saying try vermiculite. Now I'm going yeah yeah okay fine. So I might try vermiculite. So get me pot. Up. And by the way, I've already snapped on this lot, and so there you go. We're all, all, always. Oh, why didn't you plant them in the pots to start off with, Billy? Yeah, well, I like to start mine off and get it a good, a good hole to get into. And as you all know, I use paper pots. So let me choose this one, okay, get hold of this one. I normally tear the paper off so we can get it right in. And there's my leggy plant. And there's my good old leggy plant. Just be careful with the poor thing because you don't wanna you don't wanna be busting it. And then just basically Put it around and then get it to stand up. Pushing it down all the time, nice and gently. And there you go, leggy plant. There you go, leggy plant sorted. So I've got another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more sunflowers to go. And if your sunflowers aren't coming on by now, well, you've heard of the hare and the turtle. Well, this hare is racing away at the moment. So um, let's just hope my sunflowers are looking good, eh? That's what I would say. There you go. Right, so leggy sunflowers or leggy plants or leggy whatever. What do you do with them? This is what I do with them. Other people might have other suggestions. If you do, please comment like and subscribe ttfn now for everybody bye for now well you, you know after the leggy plants you've got to turn around and say how's all the other plants doing well that's my garlic in me and uh, raised planter in my garden and that they're, they're coming on loads just take these bits of rubbish out they're coming on all right they've had a good frost in so they should be okay the other garlic's got to go to my allotment so either today or tomorrow and i've got to get it going and do that Here's my other plants, look. How am I doing? I transplanted a load of tomatoes this morning. There's my tomatoes, look. So they're all coming on all right. Um, my my uh, runner beans are not doing very well at the moment and my cucumbers haven't started to come through yet. There's time, there's loads of time. Uh, but however, one big improvement we've had this week, and look at this, the gutter peas. There you go, there's the gutter peas. And they're coming on no end. Basically what you do is you take the end cap off Put a trench into your raised bed or wherever you're going to put them up and then just slide them in. And uh, I can't remember who gave me that tip. I think it was um, Devon's allotment. Cornish Devon's allotment, I think. I can't remember. But it was somebody. And, and I thought, oh, that was a good idea. And I had a bit of old gut ring, so I've tried it. And um, it with great success. And these are all my other plants. They're coming on all right. Now, parsnips aren't coming on yet. And uh, my spinach. I've got a few bits of spinach through. Bits early yet. So that's where I am today. Um, try and get up the lot. I've got a couple of dead ends. That's just the way it is. You, you know, you, you take your rough with your smooth. Um, yep, that's me then. Quick tour. Leggy plants. Thanks very much, everybody. TTFM for now.